What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. Ready to take down the boss as long as she doesn't bug. Um, I had actually ju just tried an attempt and the same exact shit happened. But uh, I did discover something interesting, which you'll see in a second. Nope. As you're seeing, you can essentially parry everything she does. I'm afraid to get too aggressive because this is where she tends to get fucky.
Ah, damn, you're annoying. Requiem Eternium, you buggy ass. Yep. Shh. What was that? Do some kind of anime finisher? What you seek lies at the end of these long stairs, that which proclaimed itself the true and holy truth has long been hiding there. Behind those doors, the affliction itself laments in its own confusion and the journey has been long. Although I have been barred from entering such a slanderous abode, Zarabanda of the Take safe haven. One in silence. No. So she doesn't come along. Song that blessed the walls convenes an incorporeal shield that damages enemies and destroys projectiles. Would have been nice to have on the uh, fucking other boss. Um, if there's projectiles and shit, I'm already gonna assume this thing is filled with magic. We have the double magic thing on already, but um, take out little magic. Put on that. And that gives us the bead. That gives us uh, three full usage uses. Okay. Oh, hold up. Oh, I had the bead on. I had the bead on already. Never mind. That bead almost gives us four. Um, lightning. Uh, let's use that uh, magic buff. Now I have on the the new spell. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right, this is it. Final boss. Oh, he doesn't bug out. Ugh. And if I struggle, I do have 28,000. Which I could go buy that uh, vial thing that I didn't get before. But I think I'll probably manage. In my dreams, I heard your footsteps coming closer. In my dreams, I tried to talk to you and introduce myself. Guardian of the miracle and of the miracle banner, with great pain, I carry the emblem of the father. I am the hands of bloodied skin. I am the eyes from which your mother gazes at nothing I know of you. Apart from your cold, nameless visage, Apart from your calloused and wounded hands, apart from the mourning of your deaths, no, I know nothing of you. Only the miracle knows. Now may your sword, full of guilt, with mine of gold, collide. Okay. It's a... Let them hurt, and I curse, I bless. Damn, you are obnoxious. Holy shit. Why is this guy doing fucking jutsu, man? Naruto over here, sitting here doing hand jutsus. I just need to survive this shit a little bit longer. Oh. Yeah, die. Get that weak-ass jutsu out of here. 
in which you saw me asleep. Why do I feel like that's a two-faced boss fight? He was way too easy. Now you see me awoken as the son of the true miracle. Definitely two-faced boss fight. About to say, I'm like, there's no way that's it. Like, there's a lot of bullshit there, but I was sloppy and still just gibbed him. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Well, I know a couple things we're doing. Um, first, being that this is gonna be a semi-aerial fight, so... Um, lots of ma I mean, I don't... Take off the bead. Need the thrust. Take off that to go high lightning resist. High lightning, high, high magic. I think the best bet here is going to be phase one. I pretty much just focus on dodging. Just dodge everything he does. And uh, basically that. Now, where the hell is that last main culpa statue? I'd love to have the super upgraded blood thing. And looking at the map, though. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, there was that. There. Like, there was more. Oh, shit. You know what? Uh, where? This is the... there's a drop in one of these spots. Before we fight the final boss, we're gonna go look. Because there was that big-ass bell. And I'm gonna bet that that bell... Because there were blood steps near the bell. And that... That's probably where my main culpa is. So, all the way down to the bottom floor. Or maybe, no. Maybe not all the way to the bottom floor. It looks um, this might be like one of those things where I need to drop through the floor to get to a platform to access the bell. That's kind of what I'm thinking here. Uh, you have my drop on, I have my blood. All right, so for me, be like right there, straight down. Let's go down one more level. I know there's another May Culpa because I haven't even unlocked the final upgrade tier. And I mean, thinking about the map, like, I mean, that room was Key of Inquisitor. I feel like there's no way they would hide it behind a you need to spend 10,000 to get this key type of thing. Um, there were places here in the graveyard that I could look at, but I also find it unlikely when there's a May Culpa up there. Thing. I doubt it would be behind a side quest. That also seems unlikely. And this, this, this just, this raises a red flag to me. I go for like three zones. Not here, so it's just spikes. I mean, this sounds suicidal. 
but it's worth a shot. I always get my sin forgiven. Okay, yes, you hit me. Good job. Might be that I have to use something to shatter the bell. That or make the jumps in the time it takes the bell. What about my, my big my AOE yell? Ah. Rumbling of the colossal inverted from the spiral. Destroys organs and bones. I think I need to let the bell swing and then just haul ass. Yes! Hey, Culpa! Where's my blood at? Hey guys, uh, not here for you. So I gotta go fucking quick. Oh! Oh wow, that hurt a lot less. Time this so that I reach that point right as the bell swings back. Damn it, not a May Culpa. Smoking Heart of Incense. Enhances the power and duration of prayers, but also increases their cost by one fervor bar. Damn, is not what I fucking wanted? What the shit? Alright, hold up. We are about to straight up Google this bitch. May Culpa Alter Blasphemous. Because I know I'm missing one. How to get the last May Culpa Shrine. Here's how. Let's see. It's Christ, big old spoiler thing. First of all, you need the three gnarled tongues and the linen of the gold thread. Without it, you can't reach the item. 
Go to the top of the desecrated cistern elevator. Jump down the left side. Land on a ledge. From there, just hang down and let go. You'll fall into a tree bark. Reach the room without jumping down if you, you have the gold thread. Go through the door and you'll find a statue holding... Oh, God damn it. Chalice of inverted phrases. When you see the prompt, you have to kill the big coffin knight and the silent canvases, the minotaur spear chucker, and the mountain of endless dusk, the lion-headed giant, and the wall of prohibition. Each time you kill one, you'll get a partially filled. You get this message, return to the room where you got the chalice, and you have prompt. You are not allowed to die or fast travel by portal when killing enemies. Doing so resets the progress, and you have to start over. Fuck. That's not happening. I can tell y'all right now, I have uh, zero fucking interest. Because I'd have to, so if I have to do that without dying, Basically, I'd have to, here's here's what I'd have to do. I'd have to start at the Wall of Holy Prohibitions. I'd have to kill that guy. I'd have to go past the spikes, go past the spikes here to drop down to get into there. Um, make my way. Where's the second area? Go through that. Um, hold up, let me look at that thing again. I'm trying to think how I could even do this shit. Wait, what is this? You can make it a lot easier by abusing the exit reset mechanic. Exiting to the main menu does not empty the cup like fast travel. <clears throat> so you can rest at a shrine in an easy position, walk to the enemy to kill, then reset to the shrine. This can make the run a lot safer. All right, that might actually be viable. So what I'd have to do I'd have to make my way. What's the other one? Lion headed giant minotaur spear chucker. Which is not the order they're shown in the rooms, but it doesn't matter. Often night, lion headed giant minotaur guy. Chalice was down here. Yeah, bottom of the elevator. So. I'd have to. I'm trying to think if I could do this because it sounds like ass, but I might might be able to to pull off this jank. It's great, sister, and sucks. But it's not undoable. Next to Grievous ascends, John Doe. Oh, fuck. So I'd need to, <clears throat> I'd probably, just to make things easier, I'd probably want to like rest here at Mercy Dreams. I'd have to make my way up through the library, up here, get into the Yard Cathedral, go up there, kill that guy, reset to get back to Mercy Dreams, go, it was like right around here, I think, but I want to say there were some spikes. Yeah, this, this I think had spikes. So I'd have to get past spikes to kill that guy. Reset back to Mercy Dreams, then go through the cistern, go up here to kill the mountain guy, then back to the cistern, drop down, go and turn it. That's that's a lot of fucking. No. No, I, I'm not. No. Nope. Nope. Nobody, nope, nope, nope. I like this game. I'm not nearly good enough at it to. Do all that shit without dying. It's a little. It's, it's personal opinion. That's a little fucked. If it was just, if it was just a sword upgrade, I could maybe understand it. Like you know, you don't, you don't need that to beat the game. But one, you need to do that to get your, your final ability, and two. I mean, it is a, it is a, uh, you know, like an upgrade to your sword. And the thing I don't get, like logically speaking, anybody that's good enough to do that shit probably doesn't fucking need the sword upgraded. If you can get through all that bullshit 
without dying, you're not in need of a fucking upgrade. You're, you're probably one of those people that can no hit run this game. Just ass backwards logic, man. Well, anyway, we've we've cleaned up um, a couple of loose ends this episode. We are going to wrap up here, um, have an episode dedicated to the final boss, because as always, I'm going to want to uh, take the credits as an opportunity to do a review of the game. So we'll close out here. One more episode coming your way before we wrap up Blasphemous.